Good day, my name is Devi Wolf, and I'm with Group Security, uh, currently at Essendon Park. I joined Transnet in 2020. I've appreciated every moment that I've had within the organization, but I think um, fundamental to that is the background that I come from, and I think if I could just take everybody through uh, my career path. Uh, when I was 18, I joined the South African National Defense Force. At the time, I wasn't quite certain what it is that I wanted to do. To my surprise, when I joined the SANDF, um, I actually did not like it, and I thought, this is not for me. So I was afforded the opportunity to go and study at the South African Military Academy, which is affiliated to Stellenbosch University. At that point, I still wasn't decided on what it is that I wanted to pursue, but I think I was leaning more towards um, the political space. And so I studied a degree in Security and Africa Studies, uh, which I was very passionate about. And in fact, um, I then got my passion in military strategy, but together with political sciences, those were my two majors. I then moved on to do my honors degree in military strategy, as well as um, an honors degree in international politics. Uh, from then on, I was obviously then um, requested to go back to my unit as per the protocols within the military, and I then served the country from that point. Uh, fast forward, I then uh, joined the South African National Parks, which I did a bit of work there relating to rhino poaching and understanding the dynamics of the security environment on a more lighter scale. Uh, from there, that's when I joined Transnet um, in 2020. But I think one of the things that um, has been a highlight in my career is that, you know, within the security space, it's predominantly males. And for me to infiltrate that space at such a young age um, it was quite an honor. I think I've learned so much from that experience. We are of often posed with the question of, um, is there a balance in life? And I mean, ideally, you'd want life to be balanced in such a way that, you know, you balance your work life, you balance your, your, your career, you balance your family life. But the, the truth of the matter is, in a woman's life, there is no balance. There is no balance because the woman is naturally a nurturer. And so if I can just um, take a typical example of a woman who has got kids, um, has to wake up in the morning, prepare for the kids to go to school, has to prepare for herself um, to, to get ready for work, and then go to the workplace. The workplace is obviously, it has changed over the past couple of years, but at the same time, there's still so many challenges that face us uh, uh, women. But having said that, I think it's also important to acknowledge the great strides that women have made, specifically in the work environment. And I mean, Women's Month is really about celebrating and embracing, you know, the obstacles and challenges that women face on a daily. And I think if I can just think of the march that happened to the Union Building in 56, right? When we go deeper into it, we realize that it was just not about the passbook, but it was fighting for all sorts of rights. So with the different platforms that are available today and that have been created for women, we see more and more women being elevated to the correct status where they should be. I think for me in 2020, it was a great milestone to have been nominated and successfully um, named um, South Africa's top 200 in the Malian Guardian leadership. It was a, a very real moment in a way that it made me, it made me think about the challenges and the battles um, that I've gone through to, to, to be even considered at that point. And so in essence, what I'm saying is that um, the country has evolved, the world has evolved, and it's, it's comforting to know that women are getting the platforms that should be um, given to them in the first place without a hassle. I look forward to contributing more in the environment uh, that I work within. And of course, my passion being national security, I will continue to strive towards uh, bringing down um, you know, crimes against our critical infrastructure. The future of this country belongs to all who live in it, young and old, but obviously at this point in time, we are propelling and advancing uh, women. Ematiniswe si vesi peswe bomage. Emasimini bomage. Emsebendini bomage. Etipezela bomage. Kubalegi lege guzi. Kutotonghe dinzawo lapo kukona ematfuba. Sibafage nabo bomage. 
So with those words, I'd just like to encourage every woman out there, the little girl, child, to say, take up space and anything and everything is possible.